Wow. You really want to get married? Why is that so hard to believe? It's, uh, it's not hard to believe, honey. I'm just thinking about you and, and what about your career and your Hollywood's hottest bachelor. <laughs> Stop That's it. why your movies do so well. Ouch. I thought people came to see my performances. They do, they Not because do. they were interested in my personal life. That is why. That Did is, you have to go there? That is why. I'm just saying that, you know, America likes to think of you as single. Trust me, women like to think of you as single. Okay, but there's nothing bigger than a celebrity wedding. Oh, okay. I got you. You want a publicity stunt? Uh, no. Babe, you want uh, no, a no, no, picture no, no, no. of us getting okay, I mean, stop. you don't need publicity stop. stunts uh, if this your work's good. This is going so terribly wrong right now. I'm sorry. There should be candles and champagne. Well, we have champagne. No, no. I should be down on one knee. I I, what am I doing? What yes. No, no, I'm sorry. Honey, what did you do? Don't get in your... What are you... <laughs> Honey, you may think this is sudden, but it's not. Oh. I've been thinking about this for a long time. I have. I want to share my life with you. I want you to marry me. You know, for as many times as I proposed on screen, you would think I would have this down cold. <laughs> it's not how you ask. Oh, come on, this is like the worst proposal ever. No build up, no romance. Don't take sweet and sincere any day, and you're both of those things. You know, honey, it's just. I, marriage. I hadn't really figured it into my plans. Well, I hadn't figured it either until we started dating. And then I realized how much I looked forward to seeing you. And how disappointed I was when I couldn't. And here we are. Um. Oh no. Oh gosh. What? Well, you know, I just took this new job, and I mean, it's so busy, dizzy. I mean, I'd be in a different city every week at this new job, and then there's your crazy schedule, and then I mean, how would we make a marriage work when we're never even on the same continent? I'll drop out of the movie. What are you talking about? You can't drop out of that movie for me. What are you saying? D look, I have done harder things to get where I'm at right now. Look, it's a good life, but it hasn't come without a price. Brenda, the only time I am not lonely is when I'm with you, which might seem really weird because I'm never actually really totally alone. <laughs> it's not weird. I'm never but. alone either. But you know all these people that we're surrounded by all the time? want a piece of our brilliant lives and if our fame went away you think they'd still be around well if we were married then we would always have each other you are so adorable you are adorable and convincing well is that a yes claudia spent the last you mean so much to me you feel a butt coming on here but uh, there it is. Here, let's sit down. Come on. I think that you should be with somebody who really loves you. You know, from the bottom of their heart. And it's 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 not you. I mean, if if it's me, I, I don't really do that with. Not, Anyone, and, and if you married me, you'd be settling for someone who understands, who just understands but you. maybe that's enough. No, that's not enough. That's not enough for you. Huh? Uh, I mean, uh, love should be, you know, someone who can't stop looking at you, ever. Well, I can get that anytime I want. Just ask my agent. I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. I, I think we should take, just, let's just take a beat. Let's just, okay. let's just, I love spending time with you so much. I love just, I, you know how much I love going to premieres with you. It's my, <laughs> it's my passion. 
Yeah, I, 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 I do. Tell. Well, you'll never go to a premiere so alone. Yeah. It, it's as I, many as you want to go. Let's, I love God. I loved talking to you and getting drunk with you. Can Let's you do like that now. The perfect package. Perfect woman here. Thank you. <sighs> See, you're so amazing because you care more about what is right for me than what being married to me could do for your career. I mean, everyone else around me is so superficial. Oh, gosh. Oh, I am... Um... I'm not as selfless as you think I am. No. Do tell. I have an enormous ego. I was left at the altar three times. Three. And I don't really want to be left a fourth time. Not even by you. Three men left you at the altar. Well, two, actually. One of them was a repeat offender. Um, okay, so was he uh, just blind or plain stupid? Well, I'm the one who said yes to marrying him twice, so what does that make me? Optimistic. I mean, you always see the best in people. Some would say I bring out the worst in people. Well, I doubt that. Very much. So, tell me about this repeat offender. Jacks, Jasper Jacks. I'm sure you know him. Yes, he is the money guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, we were having our beautiful wedding, and my ex showed up with Jax's wife. Jax had actually thought that she had passed away. Wait, you're serious? Mm -hmm. Yes, sounds like an insane sitcom season finale, but that's actually what my life is like quite a lot of the time. Wow. And that was the end of my wedding to Jax. So, your ex, the guy who ruined the wedding, he eventually got what he wanted, right? You went back to him. Yes. Yes. wanted. Uh, that didn't last. So he's the other joker who left you at the altar? Well, actually, he couldn't be bothered to leave me at the altar, so he sent his best friend to deliver the news to me. And so he ended up back with Jax, and we went to say our vows, and I said I do, and Jack said I don't, after he found out that I had kissed Sonny the night before our wedding. Jack didn't think that was very romantic. Mm -hmm. So, you see... I'm uh, not a great bet in the marriage department. Uh, we both have passed, and I should stay that way. It's none of my business you know, who you loved and why it didn't work out. All that matters is us and where we're going. All right? Well, let's just say theoretically that we got married. Theoretically. Okay. And if it doesn't work out, I mean, even if we got through the whole ceremony without incident, you want to have a big divorce in front of the whole entire world? I don't live my life worrying about what the tabloids are going to say. I mean, aren't you tired of trying to live up to everyone else's expectations? What about what we want? Murphy. Listen, Brenda, we're never going to have normal lives. Someday the spotlight's going to fade and someone's going to come along who's a bigger box office draw than I am or someone's going to come along who's 
bigger deal in the fashion business, and then we're going to have to try and figure out who we are apart from all this. And all I know is that I like who I am when I'm with you. You're making it really hard to say no. Then don't. sick of your stone face do you know that obviously he sent you here so why did he send you here i get it jason i'm not gonna sit here and conduct my relationship with sunny through you brenda Thank you.